Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. Moments away, it'll be the Denver Nuggets going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. The grind of the NBA season wears on, but what a pleasure this year is turning out to be. Let's check out the West and see how the standings look. Taking a look at Oklahoma City, they're looking extremely sharp right now, poised in the top spot and playing very well. And, of course, the Nuggets, three games behind. Yeah, and I think for Denver, they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now. After what they've done this season, their goal is nothing short of a title. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. The guard pair, it's Giddy and Gilgis Alexander. Williams is out there with Aldridge. And it's Holmgren in at the five spot. And for the Nuggets, Jokic is out there with Goose. Then there's Murray. And it's prime time. And it's Brown in at the small forward. Don't expect a ton of points tonight. Not much scoring, Greg. Each of these teams are excellent defensively. one well it, it defense starts with effort and all of these guys really compete they take pride in that defensively and boy you love to see it meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score murray giving you that effort the pass to holmgren Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And the dunk by Holmgren. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Jokic, no good. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. Yeah, I love watching that game and, in particular, their demeanor in their destruction in that game. And here is Murray. He's coming off a 16-point game against Memphis. Lowry against Aldridge. Lowry kicks to Murray. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Murray's got five. Murray gives you a lot of things in stretching out the defense. That's going to help. Murray against Giddy. It's Aldridge high post. Back to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Williams passes to Holmgren. Here's Giddy. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Murray kicks to Lowry. Here's Jokic. No good on the fadeaway. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Holmgren. Turned in an outstanding game against New York. Williams shot is off. Yeah, they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brent, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor. So there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. That's a jump ball. And here now the Thunder. Giddy finds Aldridge. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. Clock at four. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Gilgis Alexander does a good job of just staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. And how can you not love the game of SGA? I mean, a young guard who continues to get better. Yeah, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Shea Gilgis Alexander Brent, an all star for the first time in 2023. And SGA made a lot of noise in that season, averaging 30 a game. Man, this guy was showing he could be a franchise player and the main man on a young OKC team. And Brent, what do you say when it comes to Jamal Murray? It's all about staying healthy from here on out. Well, we've seen both sides of it, right, Greg? When he's healthy, they're good Take a break. when Take Jamal a break. Murray is not in the lineup Two and shots. not confident in what he can provide to the lineup. Not so much. So when Jamal is healthy, Jamal's a superstar. The first one falls and you hear it often, Brent. These nuggets are a complete team. Well, you have a historic superstar in Jokic and this incredibly deep and talented supporting cast. Got a great experienced coaching staff. This team has everything you need to win at the highest level, and they're proving they can do that. Both shots good from a strike. Well, we're well into the season now. Brent, our team's about where you thought they'd be in terms of rank at this point. Well, there's always a few surprises, but those elite teams, they've done what we expected them to do, and that's rise to the top. It only gets harder to imagine that these teams would slip out of that position at this point. And here are the Nuggets now, following the score by Oklahoma City. Jokic passes to Murray. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. From outside the arc, scoring his third straight basket in three tries. Murray could score without dominating the ball, and that time off the catch and shoot. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. It's Aldridge high post. Outside, Williams. Puts one up from 19. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic passes to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Giddy. No good that time. Nice D from Aldridge. Murray against Giddy. Aldridge a screen. Teardrop shot. The kick out to Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Gilgis Alexander's got five points so far. Jennings passes to Jokic. Dishes it to Murray. To the wing on the left. Here's Brown. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Top of the key, Gilgis Alexander. Aldridge, no one around him. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Well, a solid facilitator. It helps that the defense thinks that Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. Murray outside. And again, Denver no good. The Thunder have gone 5 and 9 from the field here in the first. Holmgren kicks to Giddy. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Giddy. Aldridge up on top. Passes to Gilgis Alexander. Beats the shot clock but can't get it to fall. For Denver, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Jennings with the ball. 
Williams picks him up. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. The Nuggets with another miss. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Giddy. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Deep two from Jennings. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Basket counts. Aldridge has got seven points. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. For Denver. Caldwell Pope comes in for Christian Brown. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Murray. And then for Oklahoma City, Dort comes in for Williams. And Jordan subbed in for Josh Giddy. Jackson passes to Caldwell Pope outside Lowry. Jennings looking around. Lets it go with a three. Gets the three pointer to fall. Jennings has got his second bucket of the game to go. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead change, it's six already. Dort against Caldwell Pope. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Dort. Outside Aldridge. Six to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Jennings with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. And Caldwell Pope now atop the key. Outside Jackson. Fires for three. The Thunder pull it in. Jordan with it. 11 points for him in that last game against New York. Pass to Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Dives to the hoop. Great tee that time from Jennings. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Jennings. He has five. That one good for two. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Outside Aldridge. Shot from the top of the key, and he hits the jumper for two. Aldridge has got nine. For Denver, they've gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Jokic with his screen on Gilgis Alexander. Jackson kicks to Jokic. Off target with his three. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Another key contributor to that nice win against New York. Wow, drew the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Denver? Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And he's good on the first of three. Yeah, these strides that SGA has made in the past couple seasons has a lot to do with the kids' work ethic. 
Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Okongwu's checked in for Chet Holmgren. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Dort. And it's tied up with that one. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. And that one falls, and that puts them up by one point. And for the last several years, Brent, the Nuggets have been a top-passing team in the NBA. Uh, such a huge part of their success. They're an unselfish team. It's so hard to defend guys who are not only willing to move, but willing to give up the ball to guys on the move, and that's what they do. Such a cohesive unit here for the Denver Nuggets. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Still yet to score. There's Jennings with the three, and it's Jordan with the rebound. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Jennings against Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City moving it around. The kick out to Aldridge. A three-pointer, no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Jennings can't get it to go. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm up So maybe just a step too far. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to all. On the wing, Jordan. He's guarded by Jennings. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Jordan's checked in for the Nuggets. Jackson comes in for prime time. Robinson Earl's checked in for the Thunder. Dort comes in for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. The Nuggets trail. The pass to Jordan. Now here's Jackson to end the cold streak. It's rebounded by Giddy. Down low, Dort, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And Giddy just that sixth sense to find the open man. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against Memphis. Murray against Giddy. From downtown, the Thunder pull it in. They beat the Nuggets during their last encounter in Denver. And the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. It was definitely that defense that carried them to that huge win that night. You have to figure they'll be primed to wreak even more havoc here in this one. And that one, good. Now it's a five-point Oklahoma City lead. Not afraid to try his luck down there. Giddy on the interior. Murray kicks to Jackson. And another miss by Denver. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Thunder as they end the first quarter with a tremendous 17-7 run. And we'll be back right after this. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. We've got Murray. Also Reggie Jackson out there. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Jordan. It's Najee in at the four spot. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Now, here is Jordan. Robinson Earl, no good. 
Murray against Giddy. To the paint. Passes it to Najee. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Chet Holmgren. And it's striking how much his three-point shooting has improved this month. His long-range percentage is coming up, and that's going to give them a lift as a team. You can never have enough reliable threats from beyond the arc. And he's able to get it back. And Jordan, a defensive stalwart, crushing the opposition with his shot blocking. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Now here's Jackson. Nothing on the board. Jordan the screen, and it's Murray penetrating. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jamal Murray had to be patient working his way back to peak form after his ACL injury. Luckily for him, hard work is nothing new. He says, I feel like I got better in the time I was out. I don't overthink when it comes to basketball. If you want to let me shoot, let me shoot. I'm just confident in my game like that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, very confident, right, D.A.? Thank you. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Brent, you just don't see many point guards taller than 6'8", but Josh Giddy is one of them. And Josh does a great job, Greg, of using that size to his advantage. He gets into positions on the floor where he can see over the level of the defense and make some spectacular passes. Teams cutting back on practices to limit the load on players. And Brent, some say it creates the opposite effect. Players not conditioned to the level they need to be. Hey, you wonder in the next couple of years, Kevin, if some of the coaches, just depending on the life cycle of their team, with a team being young as opposed to a team being veteran, that coaches are going to find creative ways to get more practice time in. We know practice time is where teams improve the most. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. The Nuggets trail by nine. Pass to Naji. The three. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Naji's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Oklahoma City's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. On the wing, Giddy. He's covered by Murray. Giddy the pass to Jordan. Takes a three. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy's got the lead back up to nine now for the Thunder. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Murray, no good. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Now here's Giddy. He's guarded closely. Pocket six. Has to Okongwu. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. The pass to Jordan. Murray against Giddy. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Here's Najee. Offline with his three. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Kicks it out to Jordan. Another shot. And the layup is good. Jordan's got the lead up to 11 now for Oklahoma City. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. To the inside. 
And Jordan gets it to go on the assist by Williams. Jordan's got five now. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. For three, Murray. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now, here's Okonwu. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Jordan finds Giddy. Over Caldwell Pope. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. That's seven points here for Josh Giddy. Now Giddy's shot continues to look like it's taking its strides. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Caldwell Pope. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Here's Jordan. He's got five. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Denver making his switch here. Jennings is checked in. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for Oklahoma City. On defense, the Nuggets. Here's Giddy. Seven points in the game. Double team on Aldridge. Williams with a clean look. The Thunder with another miss. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now here's Murray. Ten points for him. Inside, Aldwell Pope. Thunder with the rebound. Aldridge has got four rebounds in this game. Oklahoma City leading by 11. Aldridge a screen. Giddy with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Here's Okongwu. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Jennings passes to Najee. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Outside Jennings. Shoots the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Jennings has got ten. And with KCP's improved scoring, defenders are taking note of him and leaving his teammates wide open. Outside Aldridge. Jordan outside. Now, Giddy. Eight points his last outing. Five to shoot. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Up top, Jennings. Defended by Jordan. Down low. Murray, good. He's got 12. This is one of those games where we're not seeing them slow down, so we're in for something real special from Jamal Murray. Giddy kicks to Williams. Jordan looking around. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Timeout for Oklahoma City. Look for Denver. Jokic has checked in for Najee. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. And then for Oklahoma City, 
Dort, he's checked in for Okongwu. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Josh Giddy. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Now here's Williams. Five on the clock. Aldrich a screen. Shoots. Jokic grabs the miss. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Trailing here by eight. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for him. A shot missing. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Jackson misses. The Thunder leading by 10. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got eight. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Gilgis Alexander. The long distance three is bare. Gilgis Alexander's got 11. SGA from way out there, knocking down the three. On the wing, Jackson. Gilgis Alexander covering. Passes it to Jokic. Free throw line jump shot. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. Yeah, this has been a night where you could look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Jennings against Williams. And here's Jordan outside. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic just got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he's not dominating this sport. We know that Jokic spends time with his other love. And you're talking about horse racing, specifically harness racing. Jokic, that is the sport he loves the most. So it's right up there with basketball, amazingly enough. Now, Gilgis Alexander following the three-point attempt by Jokic. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Jackson against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Jennings. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Jennings has got five points now in the quarter. And good recognition from Reggie, open teammate. Jordan kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Aldridge with a screen on Jennings. Gilgis Alexander passes to Aldridge, and it goes down two points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the Nuggets with some changes. Shoes comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Jamal Murray in for Reggie Jackson. And then for Oklahoma City, Chad Holmgren comes in for Dort. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Jordan. That one misses for LaMarcus Aldridge. The Nuggets trail by 13. Outside Jennings. Outside for Murray. Knocks down the three ball. Murray's got 15 points. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Aldridge dishes to Williams. Back to Aldridge. Holmgren trying to get open, and he overdid it there. Too much force looked like on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. That's good from Aldrich. Ben 
and so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. One twenty-nine left here in the second. Gilgis Alexander sets the screen for Giddy, and Gilgis Alexander. Here we go. Tough break there. Shot after shot, they couldn't get anything to fall. Wide open look here for Murray. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Murray's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Nuggets. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Sinks the triple. Giddy's got eight points here in this quarter. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Jennings passes to Lowry. Here's Brown. Gilgis Alexander covering. Murray, no good. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Williams finds Aldridge. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Pass to Jokic. Three-pointer. Another three for Denver. And Jokic showing that he can be a stretch five. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 14 points. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And so it's Oklahoma City. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Back right after this. Welcome, everybody. Before we get into tonight's game, we will be breaking down who's hot and who's not on our midseason power rankings. And taking a look at Oklahoma City, they're holding steady near the top of the rankings. Definitely one of the better teams here at the midway point. In position to make some noise come playoff time. We'll see. And as we shift focus back to our game, things couldn't have gone much worse for the Nuggets. They really got to turn the intensity up in the second half. You look at their free throw differential between the teams, it's a big gap. They need to be more physical and start earning more fouls. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. too much drama in the first half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second it's been one outstanding game from jamal murray yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter a lot of threes early on yeah he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Taking a look at the Thunder, Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's paired with Williams. Chad Holmgren out there with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Giddy in at the one spot. And they call an illegal screen here. Yeah, but just the second turnover of the game. I mean, overall, pretty meticulous offensively. The Nuggets trail by 13. And here is Murray. Pass to Jokic. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. 
Now here's Williams. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. And the three off target. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you very much, Kevin. Oklahoma City is a franchise that has to have patience. Coach Mark Dagnold said, there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident in and that we're going to bet on. And that's developing, having a good environment, and trying to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. All right, D.A., thanks. Williams shot is off. Denver shooting around 41% on the night. The feed now to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. And appreciation for Jamal Murray and his athleticism getting all the way up there. Giddy kicks to Williams. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Outside Williams, six to shoot, takes the three. Jokic grabs the miss. You talk about things at halftime and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Jennings against Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Giddy, no good. I'm not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. Here's Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. That's their third straight make off an assist. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. Holmgren the pass to Alden. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Here's Murray. Now the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. No one near Jennings as he lets it fly. Another three for Denver. Oh, great ball movement there. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. stats for Jokic. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Second in rebounding. And he's in the top five in assists per game as well. He sees the floor and makes the game easier for his teammates. And again, look what he's done so far this season. Wiping the boards clean. Ranking second in the league in rebounds. Outstanding effort. The Thunder leading by four. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And Gilgis Alexander gets it to go. Gilgis Alexander's got 13. When you have a guard like Gilgis Alexander that fights inside, it can add some spunk to your team. Jokic sets the screen for Jennings, driving the lane. Outside for Murray, and they double up Murray. Inside, Lowry. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Denver shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. And the first one at the line is good. Good, good, good. 
He's off on the second. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And Holmgren, the bucket on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number eight now on the night. Now here's Murray. 20 points for him. And Jokic slams it in. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. And here we go. Fast break. Jennings has got it. Here's Lowry, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Now here's Williams. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Connects from three-point range. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now this quarter. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. And he's just living out beyond the arc right now. What a weapon to have on the floor. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. Now, here's Holmgren. Eight points for him. Giddy kicks to Williams. Fires from the wing. Good as the jump shot falls. And the Thunder lead by five. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Denver calls timeout. And we have a moment to take a look at the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA. The Nuggets third. No doubt. They have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. Jokic finds Murray. Outside for Lowry. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Aldrich has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. So slippery in there. Gilgis Alexander makes great adjustments to get what he wants. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Taking two shots. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for the Nuggets. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Jordan's checked in. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Lowry a screen on Giddy. Pass to Jokic. Lowry with the ball. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Jennings for three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists here tonight. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's got 18. Holmgren wide open. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Pass to Murray. To the paint. And he dunks it down. 
And I like that for Murray. Not an extra dribble. Get the ball to the open teammate right away. Oklahoma City has gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. A floater, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Jordan kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. There's the triple. Jokic showing off the defensive work there. Outstanding and staying in the face of his man. Jennings dishes to Murray. And the pass to Jokic. Shot clock at six. Lowry up top for the lead. The Thunder pull it in. They've led by as many as 14 points. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Down low. And there's Gilgis Alexander. That's good on the assist from Giddy. Developing those skills as a play caller. Giddy making a smart choice this time with the ball. Hurry finds Jokic. Over Holmgren. Yep, it goes, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Jokic. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 20. Good, nice job down low. Gilgis Alexander's got 11 in the second half. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Drills the three-pointer. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Murray against Giddy. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And now a chance to take a look at the numbers for Gilgis Alexander. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging about 24 points, seven assists, and three rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game. A great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Passes it to Jordan. On the wing, Giddy. Just five on the clock. For Murray. Giddy, no good. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Lowry. And here's Jokic. Defended by Holmgren. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic has got five assists tonight. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And now it's Jennings running. He can go all the way. Oh, Woo! yes, sir. Got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Now here's Giddy. He's got 10. Right side Aldrich. Double team on Aldrich. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Two minutes 
Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Bobs it up for Lowry, and the dunk by Lowry. Oh, what a look. Jokic already joined the list of NBA's greatest passing big men. No doubt about that. Giddy against Murray. It's Aldridge high post. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Hangs home the trifecta. Gilgis Alexander's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Oklahoma City. Jokic with a screen on Giddy. Murray, no good. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Giddy. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Here's the Nuggets now with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Murray, the pass to Jokic. No good from outside. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 25 points in the game. Jordan kicks to Giddy. Just five to shoot. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Giddy. Over Murray. Giddy, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Giddy against Murray. Jennings a screen on Giddy. Murray for three. He can't get that one to fall. What a performance by Jamal Murray. He has been the story for the Denver Nuggets. He's raised his three-point total to six now. A lot of points from beyond the arc. Right back after this break. A moment now to find out what coach told the team during their huddle. Stops and run. Stops and run. Sense of urgency, man. Come on. We, we got to get this win. Trying to stoke the fire under his team. Mike Malone asking his guys to seize the moment. And this is the time when the leaders on the court need to step up, take control, and make things happen. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in score for us. They've got prime time. Also Reggie Jackson out there, and it's Brown in at the three. That's the group on the four for Denver. It's Aldridge high post. Rebound by the Nuggets. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now, here's Jokic. Pass to Brown. Sinks the three-pointer. And now it's an eight-point nugget lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Williams passes to Jordan. Good with time running down on the shot clock. It would take some very special defense to stop him once he gets that close to the bucket, and they weren't special that time. Now here's Jackson. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Jennings against Williams. Jennings with the bucket. Jennings has got the lead back up to eight now for Denver. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Here's Joe. Here's Joe. He 
dishes it to Jordan. Rejected by Jennings. The Nuggets leading by eight. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Outside Jennings, the pass to Naji. It's Jennings with the drive, and he comes up with the deuce. And that's now 24 points for prime time. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Right side, Aldrich. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. That's such a threat to score from mid-range, but on the inside can do some damage as well. Denver calls timeout. He's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He told them, pedal to the metal. He's adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Don't start celebrating in your head when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. And here's Jennings outside. Hits the three-point bomb. Jennings has got the lead up to 11 now for the Nuggets. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. The Thunder have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Outside Aldridge. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Kicks it to Williams. We on the clock to the left wing. Here's Joe. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got his fifth assist in this one. Outside Jennings. Outside for Jackson. Off target from outside. Not great numbers. But great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Williams passes to Joe. Aldridge with a screen on Jackson. Here's Joe. There's three pointers off the mark. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Denver. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Jackson. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Pass to Williams. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Okongwu. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They've led by as many as 11 points. Caldwell Pope on the way. He's guarded by Williams. Caldwell Pope with a screen for Jackson. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Aldrich. Aldrich has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Jordan, that's for two. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Under trailing by eight. Now Williams, pass to Joe. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. The kick out to Williams. For three, good on the triple. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Caldwell Pope outside.
The pass to Brown. Outside Jennings. Over Williams. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. And the call will be against primetime. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Najee. Goose comes in for Christian Brown. And Murray subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. Back to Holmgren. And it's Aldridge, top of the key. Six on the shot clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Caldwell Pope. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game Super long, two. leaving the defense to scramble. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And the Nuggets making a change here. Browns checked in. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Williams, he's checked in for Dort. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Giddy against Murray. Kicks to Lowry. Passes it to Jennings. To the right side. Here's Jokic. And the rejection by Holmgren. Unreal stretch from Holmgren there. Allows him to alter or block a shot just about every time someone's in his area. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Nuggets leading by three. Jokic finds Lowry. Jennings against Gilgis Alexander. It's good. 29 points for prime time. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Jennings. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander showing just how difficult he can be to guard at times. Out to the right wing. Here's Jokic. Aldridge with some nice deep. And here are the Thunder now. Big stretch here going 10 2. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Can't finish the one handed jam. Here's Jennings. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. First team down. At the line for one. And free throw good from Jennings. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. And the rejection by Holmgren. Time for some consideration in the Passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. For three, Murray. Offensive rebound. Jokic. Jokic defies the inside defense. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. And there's the pass to Aldridge. 
Gilgis Alexander against Jennings. Passes to Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Six to shoot. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on Christian Brown. That's his second whistle. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Giddy kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 31 points. Williams against Jennings. Over Williams. Jennings can't get it to go. Thunder trailing by six. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by Jokic. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Shane Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. Super two. First free throw is good. Gilgis <laughs> Alexander hits them both. Now he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Lowry has the open look. No good on the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. Back to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Lock at six. Can't hit from in close. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up with the Nuggets. They've led by as many as 11 points. Gilgis with the screen on Williams. And they double up Murray. Lowry for three. It's rebounded by Giddy. Under trailing by four. Outside, Gilgis Alexander to the inside. That's good from Williams. The assist from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his ninth assist in the game now. Now here's Murray.
outside Lowry. Here's the three. Knocks down the trifecta. You remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch, and now those big guys are everywhere. Here's Williams. Count it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Now, Gilgis Alexander with that height and his position allows him to do so many things other guys really pretty much dream of. Now here's Murray. And Lowry has it in the corner. That three off the mark. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely. Free throw good from Jennings. And, and really a great job to maintain his composure. How about the body control there? Now he gets the and one and turns this into a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're down by four. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Finds William. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Williams for three, and it's Lowry with the rebound. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that though. You can't just let him dribble the game. At the line of two. Drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Well, that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Aldridge misses. So the Nuggets win it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jamal. A gritty game tonight. What did it take to get the win? We did a good job just all the way through, even though we had a bad start defensively. Uh, we were able to pick it up, and you know, guys were able to score. You know what I mean? Once we got defense in the game, we were able to get out and run. Everybody got some shots. Well, you were a good unit when it mattered, and it led to the win. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. 
for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Primetime. 